I don't understand you. You defy logic I've been following since I began my education. For instance, the dead cannot live again. And yet, when you speak, it's as if Shakespeare has written a manuscript on the back of your eyelids, and I am your private audience. Not that I'm the only one you ever speak to, because that would be weird. Your smile is a parabola with its arc touching too far to the left on the x-axis. It turns up just slightly to the left, and on the right, it nudges your eye up just slightly to show off the pearly gates to your mouth. Now, I'm not much one for geometry, but I've calculated your volume to the nearest thousand and substituted my feelings for water. Unfortunately, hypothetically, you would overflow. But you are not just a number. Know that I'm not one for sappiness. Sap is for the oak tree. But when the night is reduced to a cool breath that brushes my eyelashes full of moon dust, you are the last thought my mind can keep before I fall asleep. You are the only reason I chose to try poetry, because it reminds me of the way you move. I want to understand why your relatively small mass can place such a large gravitational force on me. Secondly, how you got to have so much more stardust in your eyes than others. Thirdly, the chemical reactions that take place throughout my skin when you talk to me. Lastly, I want to understand why so many careful steps in a long chain of natural selection, bonding, fusing, exploding, reforming, and evolution made such a beautiful, beautiful person. Care to find out with me? Yeah.